to four and a half. Okay, got it. Hello guys, welcome back to Topo Tuesdays. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the burner so we can get that started because we have a lot of cooking to do today. Four and a half, medium heat. It's going to take a while for that to warm up, but I'm going to talk to you all of you about uh, this next dish called the shiitake bison sliders. And uh, my New Year's resolution is to do some more cooking because I really haven't done much cooking in my life, though I do fly a plane and I drive a car, scuba dive and surf and do all this stuff. I haven't done much cooking and I really want to share with all of you, if I can do this, you can do it too. It comes across a little intimidating for all of us. And I know for me, it's always been intimidating cooking. Um, and so I want to challenge you to try this out too at home, maybe with your hands instead of your feet. But if you are a foot user and you're born without arms, of course, um, give me some pointers too because I'd love to hear them. Um, and if you are a chef or a cook, I'd love to have your ideas as well. Um, we're going to give this five minutes, just a couple minutes to, to warm up this uh, stove top here. And um, just so that you know, this is being filmed ahead of time, so it's not live because our kitchen is being renovated. So because it's being renovated, we are in a rental house right now. And in this kitchen that's not really functional functional for me, um, it's a galley kitchen. Uh, one of the things that I did like is the fact that I can actually swing my feet over uh, through uh, on the other side to get to the sink and then scoot my bench a little bit and get over here to the stove top, which is convenient to have that. Um, but it is a little tight here in the kitchen, and I'm not able to sit on an island because there are no islands at, in this kitchen. Um, sitting up on an island or a surface that's flush, basically that's, that's right uh, at the same level, makes it easier for me. It gives me more leverage because I'm sitting here on this bench, and being on the bench, I'm a little lower than this countertop, as you can see right here, as well as a stove top. And that is actually a disadvantage for me. So um, I think we are pretty much, it's, all, it's, it's pretty much hot, hot enough now to get started. Okay, so we are going to go through these ingredients. Uh, you see it there listed in the description. Um, uh, the first thing is going to be to spray a medium skillet with nonstick spray and set over medium heat. We already started heating up the stove top, but now let me go ahead and get the spray. Um, I think you all may have seen this in the first episode, how... There was this just big plume when I tried using the spray because of the angle in which I sprayed it. But I've learned a little technique for my feet. Well, and remember for this one, we were just going to go with the regular thing. Oh, yeah. We have something to make it even easier. Because of the angle, it was somewhat awkward here. So I'm going to go ahead and do just a dollop of this oil on to, onto the skillet so that uh, it'll make it a little bit easier than having to spray that out of the can. But if you want to see how I can spray that oil, um, the cooking spray, you can check out the second episode of uh, Tofu Tuesday. Okay, so just do a little, little dollop here. That's enough. Spreads around. Okay, let me just spread it a little bit around. We need to add the garlic and the salt and pepper. Okay, let me go ahead. I think we're going to need a little bit more of this to make sure that it covers the whole skillet. It, it will spread more easily when the pan warms up some more. Okay, got it. That's good to know. So, just so you know, the cook in the family is not me. I'm learning how to cook, but Patrick, luckily, my husband loves to cook, so that's his voice behind the camera. Um, and he's going to give me some pointers to help me out along the way. And if you have ideas, any pointers, please put them in the comments. I would love to hear them. I know that I, uh, a friend of mine uh, is also a chef. So let me go ahead and, and add the, all this in. Okay. You need to add the garlic and the salt and pepper to your bowl before you throw it in. Oh, out. okay, I better do that first. Garlic. Here's the thing about squeeze bottles. Um, it's a lot easier to use a squeeze bottle for me. So that's why we try to go to the store and get as much as we can. Okay, how much garlic do I need to have on here? I'm looking at the recipe right here on the other side of the refrigerator. It says here to use a fourth pound mushrooms. So we chopped up all of this stuff ahead of time for the sake of time, two garlic cloves minced. And so instead of the garlic cloves, I'm gonna guess uh, how much would be the equivalent from this uh, 
uh, container here, squeeze bottle. Let's just see. How, how much do you think that would be? Maybe two <laughs> squeezes? Oh, no, but we can't see it. Your toes are blocking. Oh, okay. My toes are blocking. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, maybe we'll just do... Mm, there you go. Is that That's a bad one? Right. Okay, yeah, we don't want it to be too garlicky. Oh, it can't be too garlicky. I love garlic. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> we'll just consider that two cloves of garlic. Okay, next is to um, add the mushrooms. We did that. Garlic, shallot, salt, and pepper. And uh, the salt and pepper is here. Oh, it's right in front of me. Okay. These little containers are a little harder to get, um, but uh, it's easy to, once I get a hold of that, we'll add some. How much of the salt do we need? One eighth of a teaspoon. Where is the teaspoon measure? Just do a, a really generous pinch of generous salt. Generous pinch. Okay. And we don't want there to get you go. Maybe two pinches. Oh. Oh wait, where am I putting that? There you go. That's it. You got okay, it. two pinches because my toes are shorter than um, fingers, but there you go. And let's get the pepper and let's get it in. Okay, the pan. pepper and uh, get some pepper going. Okay, pepper says here one eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. So um, let me see here. Just maybe a little. Oh, be careful. I'm not gonna pour the whole thing in. Okay. That's about it. Try to cut it loose. Uh, that's good. That's good. That looks good. Okay. Yeah, that's about, I'll just say that's an eighth of a teaspoon. Okay, and it says here, I'm going to admit, this is going to be a lot more challenging than any of the previous episodes, but we're going to keep moving because it is heating up here. So, um, what is next? It says here, everything, I think we've added everything, right? Garlic. Right, you've got okay, all the so ingredients. We're gonna, so, we're going to add this in here, right? Yep. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Get ready to start stirring quick. Just dump it in. There you go. Just dump it in. Okay. It's not a graceful part. Here, you can no, hand me the not. I, Okay, I did that too slow, but I'm going to start stirring here because we don't want to burn. I don't know if you remember, but that first episode, I burned the garlic. So I'm hoping not to make the mistake of burning anything this episode. So flip the spatula over so you yeah. use it on a more vertical plane. There you go. Is that easier? Okay. And that's going to help you get more of the pan. Oh, interesting. Here's the thing, though. I need to make sure I keep this. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, still. Chewy's helping now. Yeah, Chewy always helps in the kitchen. Just in case something falls. He's over here helping out. Be careful, Chewy. It's a lot of heat. Yeah, I've already burned a little bit of the bottom of this. But I don't know if that's because I didn't have enough oil. It was just a tiny bit. Just a Keep little it bit. Around. Okay, yeah. We can just... also turn down the temperature. Maybe I should do that because it's already burning. Okay. You can also lift the pan off the burner. Yeah. There we go. Maybe so you're that... trying to scoop right now. Don't try to scoop. You yeah. just want to move. Move it. Okay. Just yeah. There you it. go. So you want to keep it more in a vertical. Yeah, maybe I didn't have enough oil in the bottom, but hey, that's the learning process. That's, that's learning. You'll yeah. get it on the next it one. It's going to be a lot harder to wash this later. Any pointers on how to wash a, a skillet? Uh, remind me, we'll, we'll plan a recipe that involves deglazing a pan. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, so what's next here? It says just uh, five minutes, um, and this has been, what? Two minutes, so we're yeah. probably about a little more time to go. Yeah, five minutes of this, and uh, if you're all, uh, I should probably read it out loud and then make it easier. So spray medium skill with nonstick spray. We did that. And set over medium heat. Add mushrooms, garlic, shallot, salt, and pepper. Cook, stirring frequently until softened. About five minutes, and that, and then transfer to large bowl and let cool slightly. Slightly. So I think we're. You may want to return it to the heat so you can keep yeah. that sizzling sound going. Yeah, got it. The mushrooms should be releasing their juices. Yep. Okay. Wow, this is really a good muscle exercise for my thigh. <laughs> I feel it in my thigh right now. Okay. We have about one more minute probably doing this until it softens. 
And after I'm finished with this, I guess it says here to transfer to a large bowl and let cool slightly. Okay? So you're gonna throw it in the bowl with the bison meat. And where is that? Oh, I see bat bowl. Okay. Chewie will help point it out, I'm sure. I know. Chewie's over here laying on the floor. He's being so good. Okay. Chewy is our little Labradoodle dog. He's only six months old. He helps in the kitchen a lot. Okay. I think that's a good, that's a good amount. Can you soften the, soften it even more? Okay. Yes. Maybe shake the pan a little bit. Okay, shake the pan. Let me move this, transfer this over. No. Uh, just leave it on. Okay. Wait, you want to keep going. You're not quite there yet. Oh, okay, keep going. Yep. See, I'm going to learn what to look for eventually. Sorry, what about the spatula? Flip it to the vertical position oh, again vertical. so you can okay. get all the corners. Yeah. If you have ideas of what are great recipes to include on to Toki Tuesdays, let me know. Simplicity is always good. Now it smells good. Oh, yeah. You can smell it. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, that's about ready. So I'm gonna get that off there. And I'm gonna transfer all of this into the big bowl turn where off the heat. Turn you off the heat get first. It off the heat. First and foremost, Before get it, it off. And I gotta turn it off. So I'm gonna put it over here on this thing. It's a nice little uh, glass covering to protect the countertop. Let me turn this off here without burning my leg in the process. Okay, it's off. Great. Okay, so the next thing is to transfer to the large bowl and let cool slightly and add bison and Worcestershire sauce and mix just until well combined with damp hands or damp feet. Shape mixture into eight two-inch patties. Okay, so we're going to add that in here. That's going to be fun. I think if I put it on here, it nope, should be... Nope, 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 we don't nope. do that. Okay, yeah, that's too hot. Okay, <laughs> I'm just trying to get it into a place where it's easy to reach. Uh, and at the same time, add all of this to it because all these, you know, let me shift over to this side maybe. I'll have more room because if I just, or I'll just move all this stuff a little higher. Um, so it gets out of the way. The last thing I want to do is, uh, okay, there we go. Use what you've got to move everything out of the way. And uh, here we go. Ooh, this is gonna be a challenge. This is gonna be a real challenge. Because for one, I know the strength is in my left leg. Dexterity is in my right foot. So I'm gonna use my left foot to hold it up. Ooh, but not touch it with my heel. So here we go, here we go, guys. Here we go. Doing my best. This is a workout. Got it. I think I'm sorry I'm blocking your view right now, but you'll see that I've got it in there in just a second. Okay, I think we've got them. Wow, that was a lot of ab work. Okay. You're going to need the spatula again, but the pan spatula. can go in the sink. Okay, let's remove the pan. Here we go. Here's another trick. I can use my chin and shoulder to hold on that pan. Wait, Give my wait. legs a little bit of a break. Okay. I'm stepping down on some slippers to keep my feet clean, by the way, so that when they touch the floor, I'm not stamping on my feet. But I'm going to use my chin like this. Keep the spatula, as Patrick said. Keep that, move this out of the way. Here we go. Now we have more room. Okay, great. Here we go. And the next step is to transfer into a big bowl and add the bison and what we already added that and the Worcester sauce. It's a Worcester sauce here, okay. Um, and, and, and mix just until well combined. Okay, so let's put this over here for now. I'm gonna just put that right there. Worcester sauce, it's right here. We're gonna add how much of this? It says here, add one teaspoon of this. Okay, well, I'm gonna guess again because I don't have a teaspoon measuring device. We are in a rental kitchen, so it is, uh, 
rental house, I should say, with the kitchen. So it's going to be harder to measure, but I'm going to guess a teaspoon. Should I guess? Go for it. This, well, I mean, we'll just be right here. Let's just I mean, this. that's the fun of cooking. You get to add the flavors and see how it comes out, right? Yep. Okay. Well, let's see here. I guess about... Wow, that comes out so slowly, drop by drop. A little shake. Okay. Oh, there. There we go. Maybe a little more than I wanted, but it's good. It's all good. Okay, so that's in there. Now just mix it all up with the spoon. And the bison meat. Ooh, that's pretty tough. Yeah. Well, here we go. The may may, that may have been in the fridge for <laughs> too long. Um, but anyways, I'm keep. I'll just keep mixing here. Okay, this is going to be good. Oh, so for those of you who are just now joining, um, I my New Year's resolution for 2021 is to learn how to cook with my feet. Um, obviously, it's a challenge for anyone to cook. But again, if I can do it, you can do it too. So I'm just encouraging all of you out there watching. Um, and if you ever want to um, have a speaker for your event, I do virtual speeches uh, throughout this uh, pandemic. And so I do a Zoom speech as well as I do coaching. So contact me through my website, jessicacox.com. And let me know your thoughts in the comments as well. If you, have, if you have any other ideas for me to try and attempt to make my cooking easier, let me know. One of the pointers uh, that I remember Mark saying in the comments on a previous episode for me to keep my feet clean. I was having a challenge because I was working with meat and I didn't want to put my slippers back on. So he suggested that I put plastic uh, Ziploc bags in my slippers so that I can keep my feet in them and then take the Ziploc bags out when I needed to um, use the slippers again. So that was a re really great suggestion. Any other ideas from anyone, let me know. Because keeping my feet is critical for cooking. Okay, next step. This is looking, what do you think about this? I think you need to get a little more off the bottom because oh, it looks bottom? like you're getting the sides. Oh, it is? There you go. Okay. And then push the sides into the middle. Oh, gosh. There you go. Yeah, get this, the onions a... and the mushrooms. Yeah, now okay. it's looking mixed. And rotate the bowl a little. Got it. Do a better mixing job here. Yeah, okay. Okay, so the next step will be with damp hands, uh, like I said, with damp feet, uh, shape mixture into eight two-inch patties. I'm going to go ahead and do one of these um, because we have, for the sake of time, uh, but but for me, I'm going to have to, let's see here. I'm gonna... First move the pan onto the, well, you got okay. a few things on the burner. Can you yeah. get a paper towel and clean it off? Which? The burner. The burner? Um, it should be fine. It's just on the side. It's oh, not really where the pieces is. in the middle. Uh, I should be okay. It's not, it's not a problem. Sorry about that earlier. I think that was so chewy moving something. I tried that. Okay. okay. Then put so, the pan on the burner. Um, we're going to go ahead going. and instead of wiping another uh, the, the previous skillet clean, I'm going to use a new one here. So I'm going to use this skillet and spray with nonstick spray set over medium heat. I'm going to go ahead and set, set that on a medium heat right now. Reach over, grab my slipper. Four and a half. And... Okay, four and a half. Go ahead and spray that. Instead of using the spray, I'm going to use a, a dollop of this olive oil on the bottom. Okay, let's see here. We'll have to wait till it warms up a little. Oh, actually, that's warming up pretty fast. Oh, that was a good amount. <laughs> We're going to need more, though, because it is a bigger skillet. So I'm going to make sure that that spreads around. Oh, boy. That is just got to warm up, and then it will be, it will be more chewy. Because that's definitely plenty of oil, don't you think? That's yeah, you can add a little bit more. bit more? Okay. Uh, we just can't see it. Oh, yes. So I don't, I'm trying to figure out a way. Maybe it's the angle. 
Don't worry, so we'll you've got on. just a little bit of time to form your patty before the oh, yeah. oil starts to smoke. So we better uh, speed things up a little here. Okay, so let me let that spread around. It heats up. Hopefully that will spread. I'm going to keep this around for flipping those good old those good patties. And uh, let me go ahead and pack this in. Okay, how do we do this? I'm going to do one for the sake of time. This Here's is your chopping board. Oh, the chopping board. It's right there. Oh, next it's right here. Board. Okay. Yeah. There, that would be helpful. You know, this one's a little more complicated, so I'm helping more in this video. But yes. if you guys have suggestions that if just in future videos, if Jessica has to ask for help, like, does she get a punishment? Does she lose points? Like, how are we going to do this? Are you turning this? this into a game or something? Yes, a oh. game between you and the audience. Oh, okay. So this is going to be a game. So, <laughs> great. Okay, I'm going to scoop out some of this to form my little patty. I think that's enough. That might make two patties. I was going to say, that's a lot. Yep, go for it. Okay, we're going to have one big patty. Oh, this is no. fun. Remember, these okay. are sliders. They're little oh, they the sliders. Okay, one big patty and the rest will be sliders. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, okay, fine, that's true. That works, too. Okay, let's go ahead and, since these are supposed to be sliders, I'm going to just use a spoon here. There you go. There we go. That looks nice. Now just form this a little bit. Um... I wonder what they mean by form, like a ball, or just like... Well, think about a hamburger patty. Yeah, like a patty, okay. So, form that into a patty like that. There we go. My skillet's heating up over here. I've lost a little piece of mushroom. Make sure I add that there. Okay, I think that's a good shape. What, would you, what do you all think? Is that looking pretty? I hope it doesn't come apart. <laughs> so, let me know in your comments. I love the engagement. Let me know. Um what you think. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put it on. It says here, it says, um, go ahead and add patties and cook for three minutes. Turn patties and top each with a half of a tablespoon of cheese. That will be for much later. So let's go ahead and cook this for three minutes. And it's 7.08. So let me go ahead. Add some... oh, I was afraid I was going <laughs> to, that was a little dramatic there. That was unnecessary. I was just afraid it was going to like I don't know what I was gonna thinking, but it's not as I think it wasn't as shaped as I thought it was in it. But you wanna wash your feet and clean off your spatula. Clean this off? Okay, yeah. So we have three uh, minutes. No, you just put like raw meat on the handle of the well, spatula. Well, if I have to clean off the spatula anyway, so I'll go ahead and okay. wash my feet and the spatula over on the other side. See, this is the advantage of the galley kitchen. Except I have to now scoot my bar stool all the way up here. Chewie's wondering why you interrupted this nap all of a sudden. Aww. You've been such a good sport over there. Okay. Make sure I'm getting all the raw meat stuff off my feet and I'm not burning the patty. <laughs> oh, that would be bad. Okay. There we go. Add some soap. And this, let me make sure to clean that off thoroughly because I'll be flipping the patty and I think I have one more minute left uh, or two more minutes. Okay. There we go. I think that's pretty good. This is pretty hot water too. So. Um, you know what? Okay. So, I'm going to come back over to this side, and why does that look like a little misshapen? Maybe well, I should just flatten it out a little. Okay. Yep, do what you need to do. You're the chef. Okay. And it says here, it says just to go ahead and do this for three minutes, and it's been, let's wait one more minute, and I'm going to flip it. That will be the trick, flipping it. See, is it cooking under there? And it says, cook until instant red thermometer inserted into the side of burger registers 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And, well, well that's all right. Yes. We'll, we'll just, we are again in a kitchen that may not have that available. So we're going to just... 
cook this well. Okay. I forgot to turn the camera, sorry guys. Okay. There we go, a little extra assist for you. Thank you. I think I'm ready to flip this thing. Okay, I see. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a little overcooked. But we'll wait another three minutes. It says here three minutes longer. Um, hmm. We'll wait till about oh, seven fourteen. I don't know if I should be doing all of these. I should probably go ahead and add them all. Let me just finish this one off, and then we will add all the remaining little bison patties for the, for the sliders um, in there. But I'm just going to start with my very first one. Thank you, Julie. She's very, very observant over here. Okay. Two more minutes. Again, if you're just joining cheese. for 2021, I'm my you New Year's resolution. I thought we wait. didn't have cheese. Where did she in the back? You need to grab Oh, there cheese. is cheese. The okay. Short one. Uh, yep. one oh, second. Right. I gotta get that cheese on quickly. Where's the cheese? It's oh, right the there. cheese is over there. Okay, cut. Gotta grab the pan. cheese. Oh yes, I see it. It's can you um you got pushed yeah? In the back. Thank you. Since we got okay, we're gonna add a little bit of cheese on top here. Just grab a little bit. Ooh, I love gorgonzola cheese. How's that? Okay. Right on top. Oh, oh no, no. Uh -oh. We lost it. Hey, let me just try. Let me try to pick it back up. Okay. We, wanna, we don't want to waste any cheese. Yep. It rolled right off of the patty. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, come on. Flatten out a little bit. Okay. Well. Cheese isn't flattening out, but it's on it at least. And we have one more minute before I need to pull this off, and I'm going to put the remaining patties on. Okay, there it goes. Starting to flatten out a little bit. I think that's why it said add three more minutes, just because the cheese needs to melt. But I would have burned the patty in an effort to make sure the cheese melts. So let me go ahead and remove it. I think it's pretty well cooked now. Nope, that doesn't look like it's cooked. We'll give it a few more minutes. And I'm going to ask Patrick maybe to take over the remaining patties so I can go ahead and put this on a bun and show the final product. Mm -hmm. Does that sound good? Okay. Okay, that's looking like it's cooking. Can you all see that? I hope you can see that. Can they see that, Pat? Not quite. These are a little high rim. Yeah. Unfortunately, sorry guys. Yeah, sorry about that. But hopefully you can kind of see the finished product. <laughs> There's a little piece of little bit of cheese in the middle. Okay, we are definitely at time. That looks cooked. So we'll go ahead and put that out here on this plate. And there's the patty. Turn off the heat. Turn off the heat. Grab the heat. Excuse me, Chewy. Excuse me. Excuse me, Chewy. I need to get over there. Turn off the heat. Okay. And it's off. Okay. So we have the patty with the cheese on top. How does that look? <laughs> First patty ever. I think it looks good for a slider. Now we're going to bring it over here and add the bread, add the tomatoes, mustard, mayo, whatever you like, ketchup, whatever you prefer. And get this get into this bag. The Swiss ties are always a difficult thing to do with hands, without hands, with feet. It's it's a challenge. But there they go. That's an easier one. Okay. Here. That looks good. Great. I'm gonna cut this with a knife over here. I hope you can all see this. Um, there we go. Oh, great. Thank you. Go ahead and cut this 
something. <laughs> she was trying to help. I know. Okay, that's good. If you want to see some of my chopping, because obviously we skipped that whole step, you can check out the second episode um, where I was chopping everything, including meat, vegetables, scallions. So if you want to see some of that chopping, feel free to look back at some of the previous episodes. Again, if you're just joining, this is my New Year's resolution 2021. Learn how to cook. Cooking with my feet uh, is intimidating, but I know of a couple people without arms who do this pretty well and have been giving me some ideas. Julie. And Chewy is so excited about this first slider. My very first slider ever. All for you, and you're all here with me. So thank you for joining me. And check out JessicaCox.com if you want to find out more about speaking um, or coaching. And we have a wonderful, uh, this looks beautiful. So I figured I'd just take off a piece anywhere, just rip it off. Okay, got that end over there? Okay, there we go. Add that, add Ooh, it smells so good, doesn't it? Oh, your cooking does smell really good. Okay. I, I can't that. wait to dive in there. It's no wonder <laughs> Chewie's was right here. Chewie's just going nuts. <laughs> One of the things when you're eating um, a hamburger or slider with your feet is that it's always a challenge to hold it together. So I've used a sandwich a presser before to hold sandwiches or burgers together when I was a kid and now I just like smash it and make sure that I use a, oh, that's a lot of mustard. <laughs> okay. Somebody's so, hungry. Yep. Now, she was wondering if this is for him. Okay, I'm gonna spread that mustard and mayo and we're finished. So thank you all. I hope you have wonderful sliders and let me know in the comments what you think, any pointers. I'd be happy to, to hear uh, what you think about this particular recipe. Um, I'm excited. It is my first ever slider. So I'm glad I have to put this in there. Okay, these bottles. Maybe I should have them yeah, upside, we down. Get the upside down. Ones. Yeah, there we go. That works. Again, a lot of a lot of mayo. Okay, sorry, I'm blocking the view. There we go. And this is gonna come together so beautifully for a delicious slider. Here we go, put that on top, hold this together, and there it is. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna take one good bite. Mmm. Mm. Worth the effort? It looks like it. Mmm. Delicious.